Spinosaurid, or Spinosauridae, is a diverse group of large theropod dinosaurs, most notable for their morphological adaptations to a primarily fish-eating diet, although not exclusively. Spinosaurids are often classified into two subfamilies, the Spinosaurines and the Baryonychians. Ba Baryonychians? Baryonychians? Yeah, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, but anyway. Spinosaurines are characterized by straight, unserrated conical teeth that are widely spaced in the jaw. They're usually larger in size and have taller sails. Baryonychians are characterized by having numerous slightly curved teeth, typically smaller in body size and have relatively less aquatic adaptations. In this video, I'll present every spinosaurid ever described, including possible synonyms and nomen dubiums, sorted based on their estimated size, from the smallest to the largest. Irritator is the smallest known spinosaurid, estimated to be 6 to 8 meters long. Irritator was described in 1996. It remains as the most completely preserved spinosaurid skull ever discovered. Irritator had a generalist diet. Like many other spinosaurids, it is thought to be an opportunistic hunter that preyed on fish and any other small animals it could catch, as well as scavenging. A 2023 analysis found out that Irritator's lower jaw could laterally spread and rotate during jaw opening. This would have allowed the animal to swallow larger prey items, potentially whole, like modern pelicans. The study also found that Irritator had binocular vision, and a relatively weak but rapid bite. Irritator inhabited tropical environments of a coastal lagoon, surrounded by arid regions, where it coexisted with many other animals, like other carnivorous theropods, pterosaurs, crocodilimorphs, turtles, and fish. Valibona venatrix was a spinosaurid named in 2019 from specimens discovered in the 80s and 90s from Castellon, Spain. Valibona venatrix was a small-sized spinosaurid with a fairly tall spine forming a sail running down its back. It is the most complete spinosaurid specimen found from the Iberian Peninsula. Ceratosuchops is a recently described spinosaurid from England Ceratosuchops was around 8 meters in length and would have hunted small to medium-sized aquatic and terrestrial prey. Its remains have been discovered in 2013 to 2017 in the Wessex Formation, but they were generally referred to Baryonyx. These remains were studied in 2021 and were determined to belong to two new taxa named Ceratosuchops and Ruperovenator. Ostafricasaurus is the oldest known spinosaurid fossil, dating back to the late Jurassic and is thought to be the early, primitive form of spinosaurids. Researchers have pointed out similarities of Ostafricasaurus' tooth to Ceratosaurus and other theropod dinosaurs. The precise identification of this dinosaur is still unclear, since it is only known from a single tooth fossil. Angaturama is likely a synonym to Irritator, it was described in 1996, merely a few weeks after Irritator was formally described. The validity of this genus has been subject to debate. Angaturama's fossil was found in the same place and from the same layer of rock with Irritator. It has even been argued that both specimens came from one individual, since they seem to complete each other. Others have refuted by pointing out that the two specimens have different colorations, indicating that they fossilized differently and there is a possible overlap between the two fossils. Also, the specimen referred to Angaturama could be larger in proportion. While Irritator is the smallest spinosaurid known to date, estimating Angaturama's size based on the proportions of other spinosaurids will put it to quite a bit larger than its alleged synonym. Further analysis on the two specimens couldn't verify the possible overlapping tooth position, thus its synonymy with Irritator remains inconclusive. Iberospinus. Materials of Iberospinus were first discovered in 1999, with more materials being found in 2004 to 2008. It was first thought to be the remains of another spinosaurid, Baryonyx, until 2019. 
In 2020, additional materials were discovered, and two years later, Iberospinus was described as a new genus. Iberospinus is only known from partial and fragmented remains, all of which belong to one individual. It is classified outside of the two subfamily split, and instead was assigned as the basalmost member of the Spinosaurid group. Camariasaurus was originally described as a ceratosaurian. In 2021, it was re-described as a spinosaurid after its remains were found to be similar to spinosaurid bones. This name's validity is still disputed since it's only known from very limited remains. It has been considered a synonym to Iberospinus. Reparovenata Remains of Reparovenata have been found in 2014 and 2020 but it was named in 2021 alongside another closely related spinosaurid, Ceratosuchops. Both were discovered in the Wasax Formation, the same place as Baryonyx. This meant that there were three spinosaurids with comparable size and morphology coexisted around the same area at around the same period. Generally, large theropod dinosaurs with no distinct resource partitioning traits cannot overlap in ecological requirements. It is possible that these three spinosaurids were still separated in distance or habitat preference within the same ecosystem. The high diversity of spinosaurid within the Wilden supergroup might have been the result of environmental circumstances benefiting their niche. Sinopliosaurus is a dubious genus. One species, Sinopliosaurus fusuensis, was described as a plesiosaur based only on five teeth in 1975. Later, in 2008, four of those teeth were found to belong to a spinosaurid known as Siamosaurus. Siamosaurus is the first spinosaurid found in Asia. Siamosaurus was described only from tooth fossils, discovered in the Saukwa Formation in Thailand in 1983. Later, in 2004, a partial skeleton was unearthed from the Kokrot Formation that probably belonged to Siamosaurus. Other teeth similar to those of Siamosaurus have been discovered in China, Japan, and Malaysia, indicating that spinosaurids were also widespread in Asia. Like other spinosaurids, Siamosaurus lived near bodies of water and employed semi-aquatic habits. Siamosaurus coexisted with other dinosaurs and a variety of animals in a semi-arid habitat of floodplains and meandering rivers. Rio Havonatrix is the most recently described spinosaurid. Named earlier this year while I was already animating this video, I had to go back and add it to the script. Rio Havonatrix was named based on materials found in 2005 from the Anciso group of La Rioja in Spain. Its remains date to the lower Aptian, younger than most spinosaurids from that area. Sucosaurus was first described only from a tooth fossil found in England. Years later, another species of Sucosaurus was named based on two fragments of jaw bones discovered in Portugal. This genus is usually considered a nomen dubium due to the lack of more definitive specimens. More recently, Sucosaurus's tooth fossil was considered very similar to Baryonyx and thus might belong to the same genus. Baryonyx The holotype specimen of Baryonyx is the most complete spinosaurid ever discovered with 65% of the skeleton found. It is the first theropod dinosaur to be described as piscivorous. Like any other spinosaurid genera, Baryonyx may have had semi-aquatic habits. It lived in a fluvial environment alongside other theropods, ornithopods, and sauropod dinosaurs, as well as pterosaurs, crocodilimorphs, and turtles. Some other alleged Baryonyx materials have been unearthed from parts of Spain and Portugal, but whether these materials belonged to the genus Baryonyx is disputed as they've been attributed to different genera. Ichthyovenator is a spinosaurid found in Laos. It has been estimated to be 8.5 to 10.5 meters long. The most striking feature of this animal is its notched sail. It appears to be divided in two over the hips. The use of the sail on the back is likely for courtship display, while the sail of the tail was probably used to assist in swimming. Despite missing its skull and all of its limbs, Ichthyovenator's specimen is relatively complete in Spinosaurid standards. 
It is the most definitive genus of Spinosaurid described from Asia. Like its name, Ichthyovenator is thought to have hunted fish and other aquatic prey. Cristatosaurus is a large Spinosaurid from Niger. It's only known from fragmentary remains, and its validity has been disputed due to its similarity with Sucomimus. Cristatosaurus inhabited inland freshwater floodplains and fast-moving rivers with a tropical climate. It likely hunted both terrestrial and aquatic prey. The environment it lived in had diverse fauna, including herbivorous dinosaurs and crocodilimorphs like Sarcosuchus. Sucomimus is a genus of large spinosaurid from West Africa. Sucomimus had long, low snout and narrow jaws, with numerous conical teeth that curve slightly backwards. These adaptations are associated with pescivory, more suited to grip and puncture prey rather than tear off flesh. Sucomimus had a low sail that peeked over its hips. It had robust forelimbs with giant claws, bigger than its first digits. The first discovered Sucomimus remain was its thumb claw, dug out from the Alras formation. More materials were then discovered from the same location. The holotype, paratype, and other referred specimens of Sucomimus combined resulted in a quite complete skeleton. Sucomimus had been found to be similar with Baryonyx. It was once suggested to be its African species. Later studies determined that Sucomimus and Baryonyx are distinct taxa. Cristatosaurus, however, also from Niger, has been suggested to be a synonym of Sucomimus. Sucomimus's postcranial skeletons, like other Baryonychians, do not appear to have any prominent aquatic adaptations. Sucomimus might have had a more terrestrial lifestyle as a generalist hunter, supplying its diet with fish and other smaller animals as well as scavenging. Sucomimus was more closely related to Reparovenator and Ceratosuchops from Europe than to Spinosaurus from Africa, indicating that Spinosaurids had a more complex distribution around the globe. Protathletes was named in 2023. Protathletes means champion in Greek. It was dedicated to the football club Villarreal from Castion, where the specimen was found, who won the 2020-21 UEFA Europa League. It was a relatively large dinosaur, but only known from fragmentary specimens. It coexisted with other dinosaurs, including Iguanodon and a fellow Spinosaurid Valibona venatrix. Protathletes is the largest Spinosaurid found in the Iberian Peninsula, after Rioja venatrix, Camariasaurus, Iberospinus, and Valibona venatrix. Oxalaya is a genus of large Spinosaurid from northeastern Brazil known only from fragmented skull remains. Oxalaya would have been well equipped to catch aquatic prey, probably hunting large fish as its primary food source. It is the largest theropod dinosaur from Brazil. Oxalaya has been suggested to be the same as Spinosaurus due to the similarity in the known specimen. Unfortunately, the museum in which the only Oxalaya specimen were held caught fire in 2018, destroying many priceless artifacts held within it, including the only known fossil of this dinosaur. Sigilmasasaurus was named from a series of neck vertebrae found at the Kem Kem formation in Morocco. Sigilmasasaurus was a large spinosaurid. It may have had a strong S-shaped neck as evidenced by its fossil. The neck muscles might have enabled it to rapidly snatch fish out of the water, but a more thorough biomechanical analysis is still required to prove this theory. Sigilmasasaurus has been considered as a dubious genus multiple times by different paleontologists. It was considered synonymous with Spinosaurus, but some others have concluded it back as a valid taxon. The validity of Sigilmasasaurus is still disputed with various paratype specimens being assigned between the two taxa interchangeably throughout the years. Spinosaurus is the largest and the first Spinosaurid ever described. It has also remained as the longest terrestrial carnivore ever known. Spinosaurus, like all other Spinosaurids, is only known from partial remains, so size estimates from available skeletons may vary but most calculations put it at 14 to 15 meters in length. 
the incredibly tall neural spines that probably formed a sail on its back and tail add to Spinosaurus's gigantic size and bizarre appearance. The function of the sail is unclear. It might have been used for thermoregulation, to assist in aquatic locomotion, even for herding a shoal of fish while hunting. But most likely, the sail was used as display to scare off competitors and attract mates. Like in modern animals, many elaborate body structures serve this purpose. Spinosaurus's morphology indicate a semi-aquatic lifestyle. How exactly it hunted has been a subject of debate. Its semi-aquatic adaptations have led some to speculate Spinosaurus as an aquatic predator that swam underwater to catch prey. However, some recent studies suggested that Spinosaurus was wholly bipedal on land and an unstable, slow-moving surface swimmer in deeper water. Spinosaurus' anatomy is more consistent as a shoreline generalist, snatching prey from the water surface, preferring shoreline habitats, and moving further inland along rivers and lakes. Spinosaurus was likely a generalist opportunistic predator that also hunted various small and medium-sized prey and scavenged dead animals. With a diet consisting of fish, smaller dinosaurs, probably crocodilians, and pterosaurs. Spinosaurus was first discovered in 1912 in Egypt and was described in 1915. But the original holotype specimen was destroyed in World War II. Newer, additional materials referred to Spinosaurus have been discovered in other parts of the world, including some with dubious identities named as separate taxa, like the Brazilian Oxalaya, Moroccan Sigilmasasaurus, and a separate species, Spinosaurus maracanus. Those are every Spinosaurids that have been formally described until now. Spinosaurid remains are rare, and they frequently become subjects of debates, the Spinosaurids have a convoluted history of classifications and naming. It's difficult to know for certain how these animals lived. We know they are a diverse and widespread group of large bipedal predators, with remarkable adaptations that allowed them to employ hunting strategies unlike any other theropods known before. These unique adaptations to a primarily fish-eating lifestyle allowed Spinosaurids to diversify, spread, and inhabit many continents alongside other predatory dinosaurs, and grow to incredible sizes only few could match. <laughs>